Okay, so the next part of the task is to ask you to create a data source. Now, if you remember a data source, it's very, very important, obviously, that you know the terminology. A data source is the source where all the um, names and addresses and other pieces of information that may need to go into the master document is kept. Okay, so these are sources that are dynamic, meaning they can change. Okay, so people have got different names. Nobody's got the same name. Okay, um, people have got different addresses. Nobody's got the same address. Okay, well, say nobody's, I know, quite an ambiguous statement. So, for example, my dad and my brother have the same name, live at the same address. Okay, so um, now uh, people obviously have different email addresses and different ways to contact each other. So, this is why it's called a data source. The master document is the letter because the master document stays the same. Okay, until you put the dynamic information in. So our um, task here is asking us to create a data source using a table in a word processor that will include the following fields. So it's quite clearly asking using word processing software. Okay, so that would be what we're using is Microsoft Word. Now the reason why it says um, word processing software or word processor is because they cannot use, um, as you know, copyright names. Plus, they cannot assume that every school in the world is using the same software, because they're not. And include the following fields. Now, don't get confused with just because you see fields, you've got to create this in Access. You don't do that, okay? It's asking for word processing software. So what we're going to do, if you haven't already guessed, is we're going to make a table. So. <clears throat> I'll read, first of all, before I start again, okay, yeah, sorry, no, I'll carry on. So, first of all, I'm going to go to insert. Now, I'm going to look at the task in the book again. So, this book, uh, task is on page, where are page numbers? No, oh, there's no, oh, yes, there is. Sorry, page 287, sorry, halfway up the page. So, um, it's asking for the following fields, four name, surname, email address. That tells me that I'm going to have three columns. Okay, so I'm just going to create a table like this now. So I'm going to put full name, surname, and then email. Okay, just going to put email address. I'm keeping it simple. Then it says create three records. Okay, so as you can see, that I've only got two um, two rows here, but just add another row just by pressing the tab key. Then you just, it says insert three records, then just make up the names, like forename, John, surname, Smith. And then email, obviously you can put john.smith, and then put the at sign, then maybe say hotmail.com, okay? And then just insert three records that way. So if in the exam they ask you to make a your own data source, Ask, check what um, software they want you to use, more than likely word processing, if they don't state anything, then just simply use word processing software. Okay, and that's that done.